Right, let's do a quick riff tutorial video for Truth Is No Words. Crack straight on with it. So I'll do it slow, like the other ones, and uh, I'll try and accentuate the rhythms and stuff and accents a little bit more. Okay, let's go on the, on the sort of intro bit then. Alright, so that's the main opening riff. And then on the end of that, you've got the little tagline, so you've got... Something like that, let's try and play it a bit faster. See, I can remember it more when I actually play it in order. It's weird when I try and play things on their own. Sometimes I can't remember it, but if I play into it, I can remember it. So, this is one of those riffs that you can easily make sound very boring. Do you know what I mean? If you play it like I just played it, sort of. And it's not just because it's slow there. It's, it's sort of wooden as well. It's straight. Do you know what I mean? You've got to... For me anyway, with that riff, you've really got to inject some feel into it and some rhythm and you know if you if you really watch when I do it there's all sorts of little slides and mutes and things going on. See if I can sort of play it properly and then I'll slow it down and see if I can show you the bits in a bit more detail. Yeah so straight away I'm noticing what I'm doing is I'm sliding up, I'm going um, so that slide's actually quite important. That'll add a lot of feel to it. And it's also the way you attack that note as well. So I suppose that's what we can do. We can look at it in individual blocks. So that first bit. And that little sort of bit before as well. So it's, it's really important you get that little slide in there and a nice a nice sort of rhythmic feel to it. That's what, that's what as I say, if you do it really wooden. You know, you can still do it at that same speed. So hopefully you can see what I mean there. It's not just a straight riff, it's not just like a, a straight lick. You've got to put some rhythm into it as well. Right, so that's the intro riff. Um, I'll play it for you one more time then properly. And then we'll move on to the next bit. So that bit's not too bad, that's just... Or, you know, some variation of that. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. As I say, it's interesting when I try to play stuff slow and control. I can't seem to do it. Right, so we've got that. So when we actually go into the main verse after the intro when Rob starts singing, it goes to a much more simpler version of that opening riff where it's literally just that first bit. So you go into, I'll do it full speed first, you go into... So as I say, you can see there, I'll do it slow now. So that, again, it's not really complicated, there's not loads of different notes, it's just about getting that snap in the rhythm. And the little, you can do that drag down if you want. There are all little incidentals you can put in or take out as you see fit really, as I, as I tend to have done in the past. Um, so yeah, you just, that throughout the verse you've just got that, let's do it slow. And then, obviously, we go back into um, 
to the bridge. Right, okay, so let's look at the chorus then. The chorus is a little bit more easier to play, really, and there's still got to get a nice rhythm going, but there's not as much mm, groove as in the verse. So for the chorus, you're right down here at this end, can I do this without snapping the jack off? Right, so you've just got this chord, it's first two notes, basically. So all we're doing here is these two notes, dum, and with the E as well, so let's go. You can't see, can you? So that's all you've got for the chorus and it's just that bit over and over again. I just cannot get this guitar in, I'm sorry. Doing my best here. If I can get the guitar in but I can't get me in, God and then I start getting the mess in. Let's have a look. See if we can do this. Come on. Because it's mirror image as well. God. Right, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Right, I don't really need to go over that one too much, do I? Um, yeah, I think you can see everything you need to see on that one. So that one is probably the least complicated riff out of the song is the chorus, to be fair. Right, so the second verse. So the second verse again is a different riff in itself. I remember when we did this, I tried to make every verse feel a little bit different. Um, so obviously in the first one, you've just got... Second one, we go to this one. So I'll do it normal speed first. So again, it's quite a lot of snap in that rhythm, quite a lot of sort of funk to it. Uh, let's do it, try and do it slow then. So there, I suppose there is a bit of technique to get into those notes. Don't always do it perfect. Right, so that's 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 the second verse. Um, uh, I hope you can see here. Second verse, and then obviously back into that main riff. Right, so there are all the sections, all that's left is the, the solo, or the live solo as I call it, because I did it different on the record, but I did it on a, a Fender 6 baritone, which is a, it, it, well, it's effectively it's a cross between a guitar and a bass, so it's much deeper than a normal guitar. And at the time it just, it seemed, it sounded interesting, but it, that, it's not something I ever did live, to be honest, I sort of worked another one live, and it's just, it's just some of the stuck really. Right, so let's have a look at the little live solo then, and what I will do, just for my own benefit, is I will turn that delay back on, because it, to my ears, one second, sorry, to my ears it sounds, sounds a lot better, that's not the right one, is it? That one. Right, that's sure. Okay. A little bit of delay on there, just just to make it. Okay, so for the solo, well, certainly the live solo. Let's see if try and do this in a way where I can play it. You can see it because it's not it's not the easiest to play this one. I mean, I I stumble over this one. So you basically got your classic bend at the start. I'll do it. I'll do it sort of not full speed, but half speed.
Right, so that's effectively it. Again, I tend to play things weird when I try and play it slow. You know, you're so used to playing it at a certain speed. Um, but, I mean, for any for anyone who, you know, dabbles in blues and riffs about in blues, it it should be, it's all, you know, it's all standard stuff, really. It's just, you know, I suppose that bend's quite tricky. I suppose the trickiest bit is. But, again, that's something I can do faster rather than slower. But it depends, you know, if you practice that, if you practice your bends, because it, you know, even now I still get it out of tune when I'm bending, especially if it's old strings. Uh, right, so, we've got this bit. This bit's a little bit crucial when you're going for you sort of flatten it a bit with your palm, mute it a bit. Sorry, my plane is poor in this video. I haven't slept much, but I'm just trying to make some content for you. Um, I apologise if it's not up to the usual standard. But yeah, what is there anything else to show you in this tune? Showing you at second verse, showing you at chorus, which is just those, those three notes, effectively. Showing you the solo. I think that's about it, really. Um, as with anything else, you know, you just get a crunchy tone. And really, ideally, you know, I ain't got foot pedal to turn delays off and stuff in between songs, but ideally, you'd have it clean for the verses and then turn the delay on for the chorus and the um, solo. But when I did the riff video, I just had to delay on throughout, because as I say, at the moment, I don't actually have a foot controller, so I have to do everything by hand, so I can't sort of change sounds. So there you go anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah, have a crack at it, see how you get on. Thank you.